there we go, Rachel. So next up is Rachel Hornbeck, and um, she is the Easter Shows mom of Harley, um, and Harley's in school, so couldn't join us, but um, I've got some slides of Harley here that we can admire while Rachel's speaking. <laughs> Great, can everybody hear me okay? Good, okay, perfect. So Laura and uh, Linda set the bar high, like they always do. So I'm going to do my best and I do have um, some stuff written. So sorry about that. Um, I do have some things written, so I'll probably just be kind of reading throughout. So as you can see, this is my daughter, Harley. Um, she's at school today. So um, she sent me to share her story or our story. Uh, so good afternoon, everyone. My name is Rachel Hornbeck, and I'm an Easter Seals mom. I'm here today to share a little bit of our story and what Easter Seals means to our family. Firstly, I want to thank Linda for inviting me and the Rotary Club for the time and space that is being provided in this meeting for the kickoff to March's Easter Seals month. My daughter Harley can't join me today as she is at school, but I am sure if she was in attendance, she would be much better at sharing our story. And she would be super loud. <laughs> there would not be a quiet room. Um, I wanted to share a little bit about Harley and who she is. Harley is seven years old and in grade two. She loves school and has an amazing group of gal pals. She is adored by the teaching and support staff at school and brings sunshine to everyone's day. I could spend hours talking about how amazing she is. And I also recognize I'm a bit biased because I am her mom. But to give you a snapshot, I will share this with you. Harley is sweet, brave, strong, and I'm a crier too, so <laughs> be prepared. Um, she's beautiful on the inside and out, has a contagious laugh, which you would have heard if she would have been here, and is, a, and is loved and adored by many. She can also be a sassy seven-year-old and the jury's still out on where she gets that personality trait. She radiates pure joy, even on some of the hardest days. She loves being around people and thrives on busy environments. She loves going for walks, which you can see in the one picture. She's in the, um, an adopted stroller. Um, being pulled in her toboggan in the winter months and loves swimming in her pool in the summer months. She loves and is loved by her family, including our dog, Ruby, who does not leave her side, the besties. Um, now on to our journey um, and how it started and what brings me here today. Our journey started when Harley was just shy of turning two months old. She began having seizures and she was hospitalized at KGH. Before we knew it, multiple tests were being completed and we soon found out that Harley had many brain abnormalities, which were causing the seizures. This was news that we were not expecting. About four months later, after more tests, we found out that Harley has a rare neurological disorder called Acardi syndrome. This is, this is a disorder that typically only impacts girls and children with this have epilepsy, an eye condition causing lesions on the retinas and a genesis of the corpus callosum. With any diagnosis, there are many unknowns. However, we knew that her overall development was going to be impacted by this diagnosis as we were already seeing some developmental delays. Then when Harley was about three years old, she was also diagnosed with cerebral palsy. And this impacts the right side of her body, primarily her right arm and her use of this. So she's just not super strong on that side. Um, she's non-mobile in the sense that she does not walk independently, but she is a busy little girl who likes to move around. She does so by moving around on her bum and she has become a superstar at this, just using her left hand to spin around. She's also non-verbal, but this doesn't stop her ability to communicate and express her happiness sometimes sadness and her needs and wants. Like I said earlier, she's loud and she lets everybody know that she's there. She's followed by an amazing care team, which includes a physiotherapist, occupational therapist, speech pathologist, pediatrician, neurologist, orthopedic doctor, and an ophthalmologist. And I'm probably missing somebody. Um, we were first diagnosed to East, or in, not diagnosed, we were diagnosed to Easter Seals. <laughs> we were first introduced to Easter Seals by Harley's physiotherapist when Harley was about three years old. Based on Harley's needs, we knew that there would be a need for equipment to help assist Harley with day-to-day -day life. And through conversations with her care team, we knew this equipment would be costly. However, we didn't know it would be that costly. Nobody prepares you for that well for that. Um, here. Give me one second. Oh, here we go. Um, Harley uses a variety of equipment, all of which is very expensive. 
She got her wheelchair when she was three and a half years old, and this is her main form of transportation. So I think she's pictured, she's in the pink shirt, um, the bottom left, she's in her chair. Um, and that was in 2019, and it cost over $6,000. Her wheelchair required a growth kit in 2021 because she grows, um, which cost, cost approximately $3,000. She also uses a walker, which costs approximately $5,000 and has a standard which we purchased used, but they, they typically cost $5,000 plus. In addition to these pieces of equipment, she has ankle foot orthotics, which are used to help support her ankles and allow for muscle development. These cost approximately $2,000, depending on the child's needs, and she typically needs a new pair every one to one and a half years. The Ontario ADP program covers up to 75% of certain equipment needs. However, there are specific, specific requirements for the pro this program, and the remaining 25% of the total cost needs to be paid by the family. These are large cost to families, ones that need to be paid for their children's basic needs to be met. Without equipment, Carly would not be able to navigate the world like she does. Without her wheelchair, she would not be able to leave the house, go to school, attend birthday parties, go out into the community, or go shopping at her favorite store, Costco. Without her stander, she wouldn't be able to see things from a different perspective, spend time with me in the kitchen, further strengthen her muscles, or compare heights with her big and little cousins. Without her walker, she wouldn't be able to practice and use a skill that she has worked so hard to learn one that able-bodied able individuals often take for granted. Without her AFO, she wouldn't be able to use a walker or her standard. Simply put, she wouldn't have the opportunities to be a kid. People with physical disabilities continue to face many barriers, inequities, and exclusion in the community, and the cost of equipment should not be the reason for this. This is where Easter seals come in. They can help assist with the cost of equipment for children with physical disabilities. This, this includes mobility equipment, but can also include AFOs, lifts, bath seats, and many other items. <clears throat> With the support of Easter sales, families like ours feel supported and some of the worry about costs is minimized. Easter sales also offers the opportunity for children with physical disabilities to attend camp. Knowing that Camp Marywood is about an hour from our home and Harley can someday attend this is such an amazing feeling. Although we are not ready to send her off to camp yet, when we do, we will have the peace of mind that all of her needs will be met. She will have the opportunity to spend time with other amazing children just like her. And I think we saw that on the video. I was crying, you know, <laughs> doing my thing over there. Um, and when she does attend Camp Marywood, I'll probably have a tent set up on the outside of the gates. That will be me, <laughs> a family camp, but not official, but I'll probably be there. Um, and I think Todd mentioned this earlier. Um, for our family, Easter Seals has become far more than an organization that is there to assist with equipment costs, provide ugh, assist with equipment costs, and provide opportunities for inclusive, accessible camps. Easter Seals is a community of families who have shared and continue to share similar experiences. When you are the parent to a child with unique needs, nothing is more important than being able to talk to people who just get it. I've become friends with many other Easter Seals moms, and these are relationships I hold near and dear to my heart. These are families who even on their hardest days make time for you and create a safe space where you can be real, raw, and vulnerable. We care for each other, our families, and we love to hear all the amazing things our kids are doing, and we love to see them too. These are the reasons that Easter Seals is so important to our family. Easter Seals can support so many children because of your ongoing help and support. I think I speak on behalf of many Easter Seals families when I say thank you to everyone in this room for all that you do to support Easter Seals. You make such a huge difference in the lives of children in this community. As a parent, I have never stopped having dreams and aspirations for Harley. And I truly believe that if we did not have the equipment that we do, she wouldn't be who she is today. Just try not to cry today. <laughs> Mother Teresa once said, I can do things that you cannot. You can do things that I cannot. 
together, together we can do great things. I think this beautifully summarizes that if we continue to work together, children with physical disabilities and their families can continue to receive the supports that they need. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity to share a glimpse into our life and never forget the impact that you are having on children with physical disabilities in our community. Thank you.